What is a magic number? A number is said to be a magic number if the sum of its digits are calculated till a single digit recursively by adding the sum of the digits after every addition. If the single digit comes out to be 1, then the number is a magic number. Before we proceed further to the explanation part, be sure to like this video. It really helps YouTube to deliver this knowledge to everyone who needs it. This is a common example to test if you can think and solve problems using recursion. There are several ways to solve this problem, but if you are asked to solve this problem at an interview, then they want to hear the recursive solution. So how will we solve this? We will write a function that will call itself recursively until it can decide whether we have a magic number or not. As our function will call itself, we will have to provide stop conditions to our function to avoid it running in an infinite loop. So our function will accept a number as a parameter and returns true if it's a magic number and false if it's not. In our stop condition, we will stop if the number we got as a parameter has only a single digit and return true if its value is 1 and false otherwise. If our number has more than one digit, then we will loop through the digits and add them all together to create the sum of the digits. Then we will return with our function and pass our newly computed value as a parameter. Let's jump into the editor and write the code. Let's start by creating our function. It will accept a number as a parameter. Now write our stop conditions. We should check if our number is equal to 1 and then return true, or else if it has only one digit, then we return false. I chose to check for the single digit by converting it to a string and check for the string's length, but feel free to come up with your solution here. We are going to create an array of characters, or digits in this case, by converting our number to a string and use the split built-in function. Now it's time to loop through the array with a for loop and create the sum of every digit. Don't forget that we have to convert our digits to numbers because we converted our number to a string before. Lastly, we only have to call our function with the newly computed value. Let's test our function. We will use the numbers from the previous examples. As you can see, our function work as expected. If you want to be fancy, you can make your code more professional looking by using a reducer function number array. It basically does the same as we did before, but in a more professional, functional way. Which coding interview problem do you want me to explain next time? Write it down in the comment section below. I see you guys in the next video, but in the meantime, you can choose from these awesome videos.